Welcome to the MineArc Systems Operator Training Video. This short presentation will show you how to operate a MineArc Systems ChemSafe Utility Design Safe Haven. Step 1. Activate Positive Pressure Flushing System. Open the enclosure on the front wall of the vestibule and push the button to activate the Positive Pressure Flushing System. On some models, a small light adjacent to the button is used to indicate the internal door is open. Do not enter the vestibule when the light is illuminated. Step 2. Enter Vestibule. Before entering the vestibule, ensure it is vacant by looking through the portal window. If vestibule is occupied, wait until it is vacant and the internal door is closed. Enter the vestibule by rotating the handles to the vertical unlock position. To secure the door, rotate the handles to the horizontal lock position. Lights will automatically activate via the motion sensor. Step 3. Turn on compressed air cylinders. Ensure that all compressed air cylinders are on by rotating valves counterclockwise. Step 4. Enter Inner Safe Haven. Enter Inner Safe Haven by rotating the handles to the vertical unlock position. To secure the door, rotate the handles to the horizontal lock position. Step 5. Turn on electrical switches. Turn on the switches marked lights, strobe, siren, radio, and DGM, located on the right-hand side of the scrubber unit. Step 6. Check battery isolator switch. Ensure the battery isolator switch is on by rotating the switch to the on position. This switch should remain on at all times in standby and emergency. Step 7. Switch on inverter charger. Turn the inverter charger switch located on the front of the scrubber to the on position. This will allow the air conditioner to operate in the event of loss of main power. Step 8. Turn on air conditioning. Turn on the air conditioning system by using the remote control or to start the air conditioner manually, press the EOSW button. If external power fails, set the temperature to 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius in the summer and 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius in the winter using the remote control. Step 9. Commence gas monitoring. Turn on the handheld gas monitor by pushing the power button. Some models may alternatively be equipped with a MineArc Aura FX gas monitoring system or custom fixed gas monitoring system. If wearing an emergency breathing apparatus, EBA, do not remove until gas monitor levels are confirmed as acceptable. Refer to the bottom of the life support settings table on the safe haven wall for a guide on reading alarms and ensuring that breathing air quality is maintained. Please note, the gas monitoring system will periodically alarm when it detects changes in gas levels. Only alarms displaying readings outside of the acceptable gas monitor levels require attention. Step 10. Install Marcasorb CO2 cartridges. Remove three Marcasorb carbon dioxide cartridges from their storage location. Remove cartridges from their packaging. The cartridges will slot into place with the rubber seal on the bottom side. Replace the cartridges when the gas monitor reads CO2 as being greater than 1% or as indicated by the life support settings table located on the safe haven wall. Step 11. Turn scrubber unit on. Turn the scrubber unit on by activating the switch marked scrubber on the front panel. Step 12. Install the oxygen regulator. The oxygen regulator is located inside the storage container. Ensure the oxygen regulator and cylinder valve are free of oil, grease, and other contaminants before installation. Wearing the supplied gloves, fit the oxygen regulator to the oxygen cylinder and tighten. Ensure you do not over-tighten. Open the cylinder fully by rotating the valve counterclockwise. 
Some models may have an automated oxygen delivery system with the regulator already installed. Open all cylinders fully by rotating the valves counterclockwise. Step 13. Adjust Oxygen Regulator. Adjust the oxygen regulator to 0.5 liters per safe haven occupant. Round up to the nearest flow rate marked on the regulator. For further information on oxygen flow rates, refer to the life support settings table located on the safe haven wall. If automated oxygen delivery system is installed, the oxygen concentration will automatically be maintained between 18.5 and 23%. Remove PPE and store underneath seats. Remain calm and record gas levels hourly on the gas level recording charts located at the rear of the photographic operating procedures. A marker and timer can be found in the storage container. If the internal air reaches the site-specific threshold limits as specified on the bottom of the life support settings table, contact the emergency incident commander for further instructions. Gas testing guide steps. Excess carbon dioxide detected in safe haven. If carbon dioxide levels exceed 1%, remove all MarcaSorb CO2 cartridges from the scrubber and replace with new cartridges. Refer to the Life Support Settings table for approximate MarcaSorb CO2 cartridge replacement duration. Excess or insufficient oxygen level in the safe haven. If oxygen level is less than 18.5% or greater than 23%, Adjust the oxygen regulator up or down one notch accordingly. Please note, for models that include an automated oxygen delivery system, it is not necessary to adjust the oxygen regulator. For further instructions on operating the KimSafe utility design, refer to the photographic operating procedures located in the Operating Procedures Manual Finder. The most important thing you can do now is to make sure your safe haven is maintained in good operational order. So in the unfortunate event you need to use the safe haven, you can feel safe knowing that it is going to work. This is done by weekly checks and regular servicing, which can be carried out by Minarch Systems. For further details, or if you have any queries regarding the operation of a safe haven, please contact Minarch Systems or visit the website www.minarch.com.